Hey guys, Todd with Great Escape Farms here. What you see in this video is American persimmon with a backdrop of pine. And I was out on one of my walks and found a persimmon tree here. So I, I scoured the ground and I didn't see any down here, but I know that it is time for them to be down there. They are ripe. So that is just an indication of a lot of deer traffic because if one of these hits the ground that is ripe, the deer would be all over it because they absolutely love American persimmons. So American persimmons, you want to pick them when they're a little bit soft. I, I'll, I actually have a soft one and a hard one here in a minute to show you. Uh, they get very, very tall. So there are probably a little over half a dozen juvenile trees around here and it only takes about three to four years before they start fruiting. So these could be as young as three or four years old. And this one has a lot of fruit on it. The other ones I can see up here only have a, a couple of fruit on them. And it could be that they've already dropped their fruit or that they don't have that much. So this one may be the more mature of them or could have other variables like more sunshine or something. So. American persimmon, unlike the Asian persimmon, you absolutely want them to be ripe. And what I have right here, let me back this out just a little bit, are two, one that is ripe, and the way that you tell if it's ripe is it gives just a little bit. And this one I could easily put my fingers right through, and I actually I will in a minute. And this one is firm. So uh, it's starting to ripen. But if I took a bite of this one, it'd be very, very stringent and make my mouth pucker. This one would taste just like candy. And watch how easily it just opens up. And you can see in there it has a uh, flesh to it, almost kind of like pumpkin flesh. But it's very, very sweet tasting. These varieties, I had some yesterday when I was walking around. And they are very, very seedy. Ah, as after I opened that, I got the uh, smell of it. So it has a very, very fruit, uh, fruity, almost apricot over ripe apricot smell to it and somewhat kind of a, a same taste to it kind of hard to to describe but a very very good taste so what i'm going to do is go ahead and gather up these and uh grab the seeds of course i'm going to eat some uh, if they're ripe grab up the seeds and i will go ahead and stratify those and plant these and i will uh definitely get some out in my homestead and if I get enough that make it I'll go ahead and offer those for sale on Great Escape Nursery. But I love having these things around. A taller tree, so these things will grow up to 80 feet depending on the cultivar that you have. Uh, some, I mean this could top out right here with a, enough shade to it. So the taller ones, 80 foot, you have to wait until they ripen for the fruit to fall because it's kind of tough to scale an 80 foot tree, or at least it is for me. But for a small one like this, let me see if I can get any to fall. If you shake it a little, oh look at this. They're falling all over the place. So that's how I am gonna get these, is just shake it a little. And unfortunately it is going to bruise them, but uh, I will be able to get it because if they fall during the night or when I'm not here, a deer will absolutely be all over this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up, put them in a baggie and go from there. So there are still plenty on the tree, both down here, up here. As I looked around, I saw more and more back there on other trees. So my little harvest here is not going to affect the wildlife too much. I'll leave the rest for the wildlife. And what I am walking away with is a sandwich bag full of persimmons here. Some ripe, some not ripe. One thing I forgot to mention is the ones that are not ripe, you can put them on a windowsill and let them blet. Let me keep the fruit flies out of there. And bletting is, it's something you do with meddler and other fruit. You just put it on a windowsill, let it sit for about a week or two. Once it gets soft, like that one right there, then you go for it. So these will ripen on a windowsill. They don't have to be ripe when you pick them. So if you end up with some that are underripe when they fall, go ahead and grab those. The advantage there is when they hit the ground, you don't bruise them as much as you do the, the overly ripe ones. So I'm gonna do a separate video on how to uh, gather and stratify the seeds here and to grow these things out. So you can check that out on 
my YouTube channel. Just do a search for Great Escape Farms Persimmons and it should come right up. So that's it for this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great day.